the volume of right circular cone A is 4 cubic meters. What is the volume in cubic meters of a right circular cone with 2.5 times the radius and 7 times the height of cone A? Pause this video and think about this on your own before we work through this together. All right, so let's think about the volume of cone A. Well, we know it's 4 cubic meters. We also know what the formula for this is. It's going to be 1 third times pi times the radius of the circular base squared times the height. And that's going to be, of course, 4 cubic meters. So that's what they told us. Now let's think about the volume of this new large cone, larger cone. What's it going to be? Well, it's going to be 1 third times pi. Now what's the radius going to be for this larger one? Well, it says that it is 2.5 times the radius. So if r is the radius of our original cone, now we're going to have 2.5 r squared. That's the radius of this larger cone, the base, the circular, the radius of its base of the larger cone. And then what's its height? Well, instead of a height of just h, we're now going to have a height of 7 times h. So let me write this, times 7h. And now, what is this going to give us? Well, let's see. This is going to be equal to 1 third pi times 2.5 squared is 6.25. So it's going to be 6.25r squared times 7h times 7h. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all of the parts of this expression that essentially make up the volume of A and then see what we're scaling it by. So if we take, we have a 1 third pi r squared h. So 1 third pi r squared h. So this is equal to 1 third pi r squared h times, what do we have left over? We have 6.25 times 7. So times 6.25 times 7. Now we know what I have here in black. This is the volume of our original cone, which they told us is 4 cubic meters. So this is equal to 4 right over here. And so let's see, what's 4 times 6.25? This is going to be 24 plus 1, so it's 25, times 7 is going to be equal to 175 cubic meters, which is exactly what we have here for choice C. Now another way that you could have thought about this is saying, all right, my volume is based on the square of the radius and the height. So if I increase my radius by 2.5 times, that's going to increase my volume by the square of that by 6.25 times. And if I increase my height by a factor of 7, well, I just have an h there, not an h squared, so that's going to increase my volume by a factor of 7. So overall, we're going to increase our volume by a factor of 7 times 6.25. And then you multiply that times the 4 cubic meters, and you once again get to the 175 meters cubed.